Hey, this is Charles with Rocky Mountain ATV MC. Today, I'll be showing you how to replace swing arm bearings on your dirt bike. Checking for free play in your bearings should be a part of your routine maintenance, but unfortunately, a lot of people neglect this area of their bike, and it's something that's really easy to do. So if your bearings are worn out, I'll show you how to replace them. So today we'll be focusing on the swing arm bearings, but we have a how-to video for pretty much any bearing on your bike. So check that out. And we'll be working on a 2005 CRF 450R, but this procedure will be similar for a lot of different 250 and 450 models from Honda, both in the R and X. To do this job, we're gonna use safety glasses, rags, rubber gloves, and some common hand tools. Now, you cannot do this job without a couple specialty tools. So you either need a shop press, a vise, and some sockets, or for most of you, you're gonna use the Motion Pro suspension bearing tool or the Tusk bearing installer tool. The Tusk tool is not designed to remove the bearings, but you can if you have a big socket like this. And then as far as parts go, we're gonna use the Pivot Works swing arm bearing kit. This kit comes with the bearings, bushings, collars, some seals, and it even comes with grease. And then on top of that, we're using some contact cleaner. To check your bearings to see if they're bad or not, you'll wanna lift your rear wheel off the ground and move the back of the swing arm side to side and see if it moves independently of your frame. If it does, you've got play in your bearings and you wanna replace them. Even if there's not play, you do need to re-grease these periodically. With our swing arm on the bench, we'll start by removing the three screws holding the chain slider down. You'll notice that there's Loctite on these screws, so that's something we'll definitely wanna put back on before we install them. Now, we'll remove the pivot and side collars from both sides, and we'll lay them out in order, and this will help us when we reassemble. After that, we can take our screwdriver and we'll remove both inner and outer seals. And when you do this, be careful not to damage the swing arm. With the seals out, we'll now remove our washers and thrust bearing. With all of our parts laid out in order, we can now clean and inspect our swing arm for any damage. And if you'll be regreasing your bearings, make sure you check them for any wear and tear. Now, the damage on our swing arm was easy to spot. The chain slider was ran for too long and the chain actually wore into the swing arm. So we'll be taking this to the machine shop and we'll have them repair that but we'll still show you to how, how to replace these bearings. We'll just be wiping out the old grease with a rag since we'll be replacing the bearings. But if you're just re-greasing everything, you'll wanna spray the bearings off with some contact cleaner as well as the other parts. Now, if you are re-greasing, keep in mind that you do need to replace your seals and those are available under the OEM parts diagram. To remove and replace these bearings, there's several different ways to do it. You can use a shop press, some sockets and a vise, or you can use a tool specifically made for this job, which is the best way for you to do it at home. Now, we'll start with the Motion Pro Suspension Bearing Service Tool. To use this tool, we'll first select the correct size bearing driver. So to do that, we have our new bearing and we'll match it to the driver. As you can see, the outside diameters are almost the same with our tool being just a little bit narrower than our bearing. So we'll take that and our bearing cup, bring them to the swing arm, and we'll put the driver on the inside of the swing arm and the cup on the outside. Take the threaded rod, we'll apply a light coating of grease to the threads. Put it through both pieces. And then we'll take the washers that came in the kit and the nuts and put them on both ends. With our nuts finger tight, make sure that the bearing cup sits square against the swing arm. To make this job easier, we'll use a heat gun on the end of the swing arm, and then we'll use our 19 millimeter wrenches to drive the bearing into the cup. You'll notice as you drive the bearing out, you'll hear some popping noises as the bearing frees up. Now we'll remove the bearing and the tool from the swing arm and we'll do our final cleaning before reassembly.
Now let's do the same thing on the other side. Now when you go to install your bearing, make sure you have the manufacturer's markings facing the outside of the swing arm. Now that we're ready to install our new bearings, we'll pack them with grease and apply a light coating on the outside diameter of our bearing as well as the inside diameter of our swing arm. What's nice about the Motion Pro tool is that it not only removes the bearing, but it will also install it. We will be using a different driver to install it. So this one has a bigger outside diameter that will seat on our swing arm. We'll take our driver, put it into our bearing. We'll take our threaded rod. We'll slide everything together. Use the bearing cup on the inside of the swing arm this time. We'll install both washers and nuts, and then we'll tighten it down until the bearing driver seats. With everything square against the swing arm, we'll do the same thing as removal, and we'll heat the swing arm up with a heat gun. When we first are tightening this down, it's important to make sure the bearing is going in square. So we'll loosen our nut just a little bit, and then retighten everything and make sure it's all going in square. Now that the bearing driver has seated against the swing arm, we'll undo the nuts and remove the tool. Now we can install the new seal with the closed side facing out. To do that, we'll mark one and a half to two millimeters down on our bearing driver so we can press the seal in the correct depth. The depth does vary from year to year, so check your manual on that and make sure you grease the seal before you press it into place. So we'll just go to the edge of our tape line right here. Next, we'll grease up our thrust bearing and thrust washers along with the pivot collar. And this procedure will be the same if you're just re-greasing everything. After that, we'll take our new outer seal and we'll grease both the lips on it as well as the outside. And I'll take our bearing cup from our install kit and I'll use the back side to install the seal flush with the edge of the swing arm. Then we'll take our side collar, put a little bit of grease on the outside and install it into our new seal. With this side done, we can now wipe up any excess grease and repeat the same procedures on the other side. The last thing we'll do before we put the swing arm back onto the bike is install our chain slider. And we'll do that using the three screws with some new blue Loctite on them. And that's all there is to installing your swing arm bearings. As you can see, the Motion Pro suspension bearing service tool makes this job a fairly simple task. This tool, as well as the bearing kit, are available on our website with just about anything you could want for your bike. So be sure to check that out. We have OEM and aftermarket parts. And if you like this video and want to see more like it, check out our YouTube channel and subscribe. Thanks for watching.